speaking of Keith Benson, he's no longer at the South East Melbourne Phoenix, of course, parting ways mutually in the last seven or so days. He wasn't, of course, in uniform when they lost to New Zealand over the course of the weekend. And it continually starts a conversation about what they're going to do and replace. Before we get some names from Liam Santamaria, what type of player do they need, Homicide? Well, I would say a centre, but why would they bring in a centre when they have the most improved player in the <laughs> NBL? Mm -hmm. 17 and 19 rebounds. No, nope. Something oh, like that. No, no, no. 17 and 20. 20. I'm sorry. 20 it rebounds. Bumped, it got they bumped, bumped it up. Got they bumped, bumped it up. Unbelievable Tell performance people, by Corey. Dane Pinot, first of all. Love your work, and I appreciate what's going on, but I believe, you know, like we discussed a little bit off camera, I think they need a wing player. Mm. Because down the stretch of this game, mm -hmm. no one was able to create off the dribble and get a bucket. And it, the offense dried up because of that. They're overplaying him, Roberson. So it's hard for it to just be solely him having to create. Outside of that, who else can really create and go on and get you a bucket off the dribble? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Um, I think there's also something... I mean, this is a team that's building, right? They're building from the ground up. Mm. This is year one. Let's not forget that. We're talking about them competing for a playoff spot, but keep in mind this is year one. So you've got to lay some foundations and you've got to make some statements about who you are and what you want to be about. And Dane Pinot is giving you absolutely everything. And it's not like he's just the little engine that was trying to push up. 17 and 20. That is incredible. And apart from most rebounds this year. Most rebounds since 2009. Hey, and first ever father son to snaffle 20 because of his, yeah. course, his Brad, his dad in the early 80s yeah. did it wow. on a number of occasions. And, actually. And, awesome. and when you go through their games, apart from Sean Long, they're not getting monstered by centers. Right. They're, they're great... having trouble staying in front of anyone. Their defense has a lot of cracks mm -hmm. in it. And then in crunch time, as you said, of that get crucial game against New Zealand, they just couldn't get a bucket. And um, they've got Adam Gibson banged up. They've got Kendall Stevens carrying a bit of an ankle injury. And uh, he hasn't been getting on the floor at all. And the other thing is, we talk about Mitch Creek. Simon Mitchell mentioned about how he hasn't trained for a long, long time. He's pretty banged up as well. The other thing is, I think we've seen over the course of this season and previously, Mitch Creek is way more effective at the four. Mm -hmm. So you want to play some minutes with Pinot, Wesley and Creek and use him at the three? Sure. But also, let's see some minutes where... Either Wesley's out and Creek's at the four, or Wesley's at the five and Creek's at the four. four. So that's... And my understanding is that this is what they've been throwing around. Give and, me some names. Trying to decide. Yeah. Give me some names. Well, they were looking at some centres. Yeah. So there were some names there. A guy named Angel Delgado. I know Angel Delgado, Puerto uh -huh. Rican. Used mm -hmm. to play with the national team. They're looking at him. All G League first team last year. Uh, Eric Micker was on an Exhibit 10 deal with Sacramento at the start of this season. Even Zebo's name. Oh. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. They should get him cheap. He knows the owner. <laughs> He's one of the owners. He's one of the owners. Um, that, that, hey, I tell you what, hashtag C incredible because yeah, if someone, be crazy if if someone took a punt that an owner would play some minutes this year. <laughs> yep. Hey, he just recently retired. That's right. That would be crazy. <laughs> that would be sick if Zebo came out here. My understanding, my understanding, though, is that they, they agree with what we're saying here at the desk, that, that they feel like they need a wing to make to try and make this playoff push, right? So here are some of the guys that oh, have yeah. been on their list. Hit me here. Jonathan Simmons. Ooh. You might remember him from the Spurs. And... Had 34 on opening night against Golden State Warriors <laughs> a few years back. Yeah. yeah. Um, and But I think he's about to get an NBA gig, so he yeah. might be now off there. Uh, they have thought about and made some contact with Devondrick Walker, who was set to play with the Wildcats mm -hmm. a couple of seasons ago and broke his foot. They like his three-point shooting. KJ McDaniels is a guy that they've um, been having a pretty close look at. Super athlete. You remember yeah. him from the 76ers. Wayne Selden. I know New Orleans, Selden. Memphis, no. yes. Chicago. Yes. He's yes. a baller. Yes, he is. He's a real yes, baller. he is. And a couple of other guys who I won't mention their names because they're, they're you know, those, one of those situations, a bit like what Keith Benson's was, where he was still under contract, but his agent was wheeling and dealing, do you know what I mean? Right. So I won't mention those names. But, and I'll tell you what, I've, I've looked, I've been in the presence of Tommy Greer and Simon Mitchell. Those guys, I mean, they don't look like they're getting any sleep right now as they work the phones and try to find the right guy. They have a week up their sleeve. Have they loosened the purse strings? No. Okay. Why do you say that? 
I, I just uh, you mentioned four players there who aren't going to be cheap, and mm. they're, they're all ballers. And I understand it's a shorter, mm. you know, it might only be seven or eight games left, however many exactly they've got left. But they're, they're, they're high-profile NBA guys who aren't going to be cheap, and that's the question. Didn't I Didn't have to pay out Keith Benson. Didn't have to. Didn't have to in okay. the end because he got a job mm-hmm. elsewhere in in Dubai or somewhere like that. So that that's a big, that's a big factor, and that allows them to now have a look at one of these okay. guys and you know try and make a playoff push. Well, nbl.com.au to keep it locked on there as well.